today is August the 24th it's been about a little bit over two weeks since I checked my trail cameras in this area and we had a bunch of rain in the last three days I mean seven to nine inches so it's a good time to go in and check my trail camera uh, hopefully the deer been moving around and uh, get in front of my camera I will check on one of the cameras in this area and then go to another area and check the other one I don't think I I'm planning to put out another camera but in that spot right there I have to cross a creek and I don't think I I could cross it right now because of all the rain that we had so I have to wait for another week or so to to put out that camera and then probably check on it on the way I go to my stand during the first week of archery or something my berry is still have half of it so I guess I can leave it that way. Oh no, maybe not. I should change it. It just went dead. <laughs> That's funny. I just say half and it just went dead on me. Almost dead. Only 96 pictures. Only 96 pictures since last time two weeks ago. So they're not moving much across the camera then. But still see what we have in there I'm on my way in to check my uh, second trail camera and I spooked some uh, a group of those already so <laughs> but I'm still gonna go in anyways since I spooked them already so what else to lose hopefully I have some bugs there was uh they were bedding down just somewhere right here and they jump up that knob right there ran down that valley And that's where I'm heading to. <laughs> so, pretty sure this is where they hang around. Let's see if I can find where they bed it down. see anything I guess they just walk up here and was getting ready to feed or something and then I, I walked down so now they know that I'm here <laughs> after the rain you know usually when you walk into the woods First thing you smell is uh, the smell of cedars. Smell good right now. One of the tips that I learned along the years is that if you hunt public land, don't mark your trail with the uh, orange tape like a lot of pe pe people do because 
if you mark your trail, people are going to find it and hunt at your spot. Oh, I hear turkey. I hear turkey. So it's better just mark your hunting spot on your GPS or your phone apps. Or just memorize the area. I just heard some turkey. Last time I saw them right here too. Okay, some uh, people asked me uh, if I'm afraid of uh, losing my trail camera if I put them on public land. Uh, yeah, I buy cheap camera like those uh, wild game uh, innovations. They're just about 35 bucks and tax. So about 40 bucks or so. Some of them 50, 55. So I'm not really afraid to lose them yeah, if that's the case, but I never lost any any of my trail cameras. And uh, the tip is um, find some good tree, good group of trees, just like this one right here. There's uh, some trees around it too. So it's kind of break up the um, uh, the camera a little bit just like you, when you go hunt you don't want to climb a tree by itself like that I, I rarely hang a camera on a long tree like that so find a tree that has uh, all the trees around it or you know like Like that tree right there, I might hang a camera because there's some other trees and brushes around it, behind it, I mean. So, when people walk by, they they might not see it because uh, there's some other stuff that distract their eyes from seeing the camera, you know. If you put one, just like on that tree, it's like a short thumb right there, so it's so obvious to see the camera so that's just a tip right there I found something like that so see like if you know that my camera is right there but if you don't know you just walk by you don't really see it because first this camera is the uh, bark um, color kinda grayish looking so it's hard for people to see so that's that's a tip right there if you want to hang trail camera on public land find something like that after that all that rain deer are just everywhere I saw quite a bit of them just uh, driving around. This is where there's perfect for them. Rain, everything is green up again. We had a, a two weeks drought before all this rain right here. So now all the grass green up. They have plenty of food to feed on. And then until I think the next couple of weeks, we're gonna go back to uh, the drought again. And I hope it doesn't 
drag all the way to hunting season because uh, long drag like that is hard on the deer they don't move that much they only move like until late in the evening or night time because uh, too hot for them to move in their summer coat so there we go another group of uh, deer this camera right here I don't have a zoom so I have a fixed lens on me try to get uh, my phone oh dang it they ran across the road already I think family of no three of them keep going post all the books that I have on my trail camera some people might think that I'm brag about them but well this this is public land you know anyone can hunt them so other people can get out there and harvest the deer if they put the time out put some works on the boot and then they can get on the deer just like what I'm doing right now so I'm not bragging about how big of the bugs I have on my uh, pro camera or anything just uh, put it out there so you know people those that think that public land is uh, not worth to invest their time in I'm telling you public land have, have some good bucks out there too so why not get out there and get on them you know 